Fox 33's Donald Britton introduces us to the Democratic nominees looking to fill Louis Gomer's congressional seat. Jamar J.J. Jefferson is facing Victor D. Dunn for the Democratic nomination for Texas House District 1, Louis Gomer's seat in the House of Representatives. Jefferson is a Texarkana native. He says he decided to get into politics when his father, who's serving on death row, was denied justice. It was this court right here that overturned the death sentence and the conviction for prosecutorial misconduct and ineffective counsel. And I thought we would get justice, but my father was taken through the injustice gauntlet that happened to so many Americans, no matter what color that you are. Jefferson says if he's elected, he wants to help his father and many others by starting from the basics. We're going to make sure that people have access to health care. If you're poor in your mail, you don't get access to health care. We're going to make sure that our veterans are taken care of our seniors actually have housing. We're going to get more benefits for people who need it. If we can give aid for other nations such as Ukraine, we can make sure East Texas, especially in my hometown, Texas County, we can get aid here. Victor D. Dunn is an East Texas native. He says he wants to end voter suppression. It does not make any sense post pandemic. Well, we're actually still somewhat still with the end of the pandemic to where stumbling blocks would be put upon the elderly, the disabled, the disadvantages, when people are simply just trying to vote. And I think, if anything, we need to err on the side of caution to give individuals make sure that they do exercise their right to vote. Don says if he's elected, he will be a leader for all. I have the ability to bring a broad base of support, not only just from my side, but independent, independence, as well as those that's not affiliated with any party, are as well as moderate Republicans. The winner will face the Republican nominee, Smith County Judge Nathaniel Moran. Donald Britton, Fox 33 News. And you can take a closer look at what's on the ballot on our website, ktlnews.com, your local election headquarters.